वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न हाउ टू कनेक्ट कंसोल केबल बिटवीन सिस्को स्विच एंड पी सी आर लैपटॉप हाउ टू डाउनलोड पट्टी एंड हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर इट हाउ टू फाइंड द सीरियल कॉम्पोर्ट डिटेल्स हाउ टू गेन एक्सेस टू सिस्को स्विच और राउटर यूजिंग पट्टी टर्मिनल how to personalize and change the party settings for font size background and text here i will show you some available types of console cables in the market the first type is rj45 to db9 serial connector previously our computer used to have serial port you may need RS232 adapters if you connect with your USB port. The next one is USB A to RJ45. The next one is USB C to RJ45. USB C port will look like this. You can see here. Currently, our PC or laptop having USB Type ports. my laptop is having usb c type port you can choose the cable based on your system requirement in most devices this console port is rj45 type so while connecting you have to identify the console port you cannot connect your console cable with any ethernet port it won't work you can connect here not here Yes, exactly. Not connect here. Here you can see I have one Cisco switch and router. Cisco one eight four one router, thousand eight hundred series. And the switch is Catalyst three five six zero series. It is a forty eight port switch. I have powered on this router and switch. It is already booted. This is the console cable I am going to use today. The one end is RJ45 type, and the other end is USB-C type Thunderbolt. This is the router's console port, and the switch is having the console port on the back side. I'll show it for you. Yeah, this one. This is the console port of switch. RJ45 end of the console cable will go into the switch console port. I have connected now. Other end of the console cable now I have connected into my laptop's USB-C type port. To access our Cisco switch or router, we need terminal emulator software like Putty. To download this Putty, go to your browser, search for Putty. click on the putty.org link and click here and scroll down and from the alternative binary files i will select from here my pc is based on 64 bits so i'll click click on the exe file click here it is downloaded now and click from here click on open and hit run now putty is open here you can see options like ssh and telnet if you are using telnet or ssh you will need ip address to connect but today we are not going to access our device remotely we are going to access our switch locally using console cable so select the connection type as serial to check your com port right click on start menu look for device manager click on device manager scroll down expand the port section here you can see our com port number i am using com5 so i'll change my com port number as com5 click on open 
to verify if it is communicating with your network device you just hit enter now we have successfully made a console connection to our switch from my laptop using console cable now we are in user mode this greater than source we are in user mode by typing enable command now we are in privilege mode Now we will see how to personalize and change party settings. Right click here, click on change settings, scroll down, click on colors and select the default foreground, click on modify. Now we'll change the font color, I'll go with green one, click on add to custom colors. Click on OK. Now click on Apply. Now you can see our font color is changed to green. Now we will see how to change the background color. The same way, right click and click on Change Settings. Click on Colors and click on Default Background and click on Modify. Uh, we will choose white color, click on add to custom colors, and click OK, now apply, yeah we can see from here our background color is also changed now, now we will close the session. Now I'll open the party again to check if the changes are saved. Now we have lost the changes because it was applied temporarily to that session. Now we will see how to make the changes permanent in new session. Right click here, click on change settings. Click on colors, click on default foreground, click on modify, go with red now, click on add to custom colors and click on OK. Don't apply now and click on default background, click on modify, select white color and add to custom colors and click on OK. Before applying, I will change some more. Now, right now, I will change the font size. So, click the appearance and click on change. It will change my font size as 22 and click on OK. Before applying, click on session and click on default settings and save it now. And now you can apply these settings. Here you can see our new changes are applied to the screen and we will check whether these changes are applied to your new session by closing this session for time being. And I open the new session now. Here you can see all the changes are applied now you have learned to make successful console connection to cisco switch from your laptop via party terminal emulator thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my channel